Hi everyone, it's Elisa from LA Woman Tours. I'm coming to you today from Patio Del Moro Apartments on Fountain Avenue in West Hollywood. I wanted to share this location with you because in 1964, it was immortalized on the cover of Herb Alpert's album, South of the Border. At the time, the name of his band was Herb Alpert's Tijuana Brass. By the following year, in 1965, his band was renamed Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass. See the difference there? That's the same year they released Whipped Cream and Other Delights, which is by far the more famous album cover and gee i wonder why both albums were released through a m records which herb alpert himself had co-founded with jerry moss in 1962 alpert was the a in a m moss was the m in a m but back to south of the border obviously this album cover was not photographed in tijuana or anywhere in mexico for that matter it was built in the moore style of architecture in 1925 by arthur and nina zwiebel who were a famous architectural team as well as husband and wife together they built several courtyards style apartments in Los Angeles, which means their apartment complexes typically featured buildings around a courtyard. Patio del Moro, for example, comprises seven apartments or villas around a courtyard. The idea was to take advantage of the warm, sunny Los Angeles weather and create an indoor-outdoor lifestyle. This complex still stands and has even been listed on the National Register of Historic Places since 1986. According to Wikipedia, such luminaries as Humphrey Bogart, Charlie Chaplin, Paulette Goddard, and Joan Fontaine lived here but I have no idea if that's true because sometimes Wikipedia can be kind of sketchy. I stopped by and noticed the gate was open, which I interpreted as an invitation from the universe to enter and take a look-see. The workers who were gutting the historic landmark could not have been friendlier, and I even thanked them for letting me nose around. I was happy to see many of the exterior details still intact, but the interiors are completely gone. I have no idea what the future holds for Patio del Moro. I hope the exterior remains as the Zwiebels designed it, and the new interior is at least the correct architectural style style and not something you would find in the showroom of a home improvement superstore. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.